Hello ladies and gentlemen, Fireman Dan here. Welcome back to another episode of Space Engineers. And in this one, I'm going to show you how to make a rotor turret without scripts using the new in-game block custom rotor turrets. So let's dive into it. So a couple things you're going to need. You will need the custom turret controller. Uh, some light armor blocks just for to make things easier. You will need a rotor. You will need maybe a hinge. You can use rotors without the hinge. And I will show you several ways to do this. You will need a gun. In this case, any static weapon. Modded or vanilla. In this case, I'm going to use the auto cannons. And if you want, not required, you can have a camera and a control panel. We'll use the helm. Now, this is not a requirement either, either, but most grids you have one. But to make life easier, you need to access some things. So I will throw this down as well. Alright, so to start off with, you need to put your rotor down. And in this case, I put the zero facing out. Now, the problem with this is if you start to build on this, you start to build on a large grid, and your small grid weapons do not fit on that. So what you need to do, you need to get rid of this rotor head. And you can either just right click on, on it in creative, or if you're doing it in survival, take a grinder and grind it off. We will come over here and access this rotor. And where it says add small rotor head. You know what? While we're here, we don't have to. We're going to call this azimuth, so it spins left and right. And you have your limits, your lower limit and your upper limit. This is how much you can spend. If I wanted to spin just left and right, I would put it negative 90 and 90 degrees. So it would only turn 90 degrees left, 90 degrees right. But in this case, I do not care. So it will spin a full 360. Now, from here, I am going to come up. Over. Up to. Uh, you don't have to come up that far, but, you know. Whatever. Now you got two options. You can either put a second rotor on like this and have it rotate up and down this way. Or you can put a hinge on. And have it rotate up and down this way. But keep in mind that if you set your rotor limits on this, on your rotor... Like where it spins left and right, if you paste again this way, it's not going to be able to spin the full, full 90 degrees because again, it's facing the wrong way. So you would just have to build it out this way and up. But because I didn't set no rotor limits, it don't matter. However, you may want to set rotor limits on this hinge. And to set rotor, rotor limits on the hinge, do you see these two little white lines right here? That is the negative side. That points down. Negative. So we'll come over to this hinge. And this is elevation, so we will call it elevation. And not required to rename it. The scripts, the, when you use scripts to do this, which I have several videos on my on my uh, channel here, it is required to name it. But this is not. I'm just doing it just to make it easier. Upper limit, 90 degrees. It'll point straight up. The lower limit, we'll call it negative 20. So it can only point 20 degrees down. Some people, and a lot of them, I've been seeing them build the hinge have been facing straight up and rotating this way, up and over. Two problems with that. One, you're going to want to sense your hinge limits because your thing doesn't need to flip over because it's on a rotor. It can spin. Two, if you're facing straight up, no, by straight up, I mean like this, it can only point down 90 degrees. So you're essentially firing level. So if something's right here. Your gun, your gun can shoot them. Whereas if you point it this way, it can aim down 90 degrees. But 
I set the rotor limit to face down 20 degrees, so it can shoot down one's angle. Uh, excuse me. Throw it's bucking me. So now... Let there be light. All you gotta do is add... In this case, we'll come out uh, one block. Add our turrets on. Or, well, weapons. And we'll add our camera. All right. You have a working turret. Not pretty, but it's a working turret. The only downside about doing it this way is these cannot auto-reload. So you'll have to manually reload them or put a cargo container on the end and have put ammo in a cargo container. But now let's set everything up. So we'll come in our custom turret, right? Select... Oh. Might help if I put one down, huh? And you can put this on here to control it, or you can actually stick it on a turret itself if you like. But I think this is better like this because you can actually build server rooms and such in your bases with this and your program blocks. So, assign azimuth rotor, azimuth, right? No one has spins. Assign azimuth or elevation rotor or hinge. Elevation, assigned camera, you do not need a camera. Um, this is only if you want to control it yourself. Azimuth velocity and elevation velocity, the maximum velocity of the elevation or azimuth, this is how quick they will spin. So you want it to spin slower, turn it down. You want it to spin quicker, turn it up. Angle deviation, so this is, the, you, they got to be within a certain degree, the target has to be within a certain degree of where your guns are pointing for them to fire. Available tools and weapons, so you got to add them. So in this case, we only got three, which is all three are on the, the turret. If you would have more, you would need to rename these so you can add the correct ones. Enable AI on. Aiming radius crank that up to 800 and then your typical turret stuff enable turret locking copy target forget target uh, i co covered this in my initial overview of the update so basically you can assign specific targets to the turrets target options you can assign what your turret shoots at and where, what else am i looking for where's the set up actions so whatever you put in here if this turret detects something it'll do this and if it breaks a lock it'll do this like a sensor that's in my other video that I, that I have posting up on automatic decoys and shields if you want to know how that works just view that so custom turret and control number one And the turret is inverted. I don't know why it's inverted, but it's annoying as hell. We have a working turret. If I put a target up here. And you can see how that could be pretty effective. Now the second option, so these reload on themselves, as we get rained on. Alright. Option number two, and we still need this, so that'll stay there. 
And instead of rotor, we will use advanced rotor. We will also need connector. And we will need conveyor tubing and we're running out of room. We don't need that. We don't need that. So conveyor tube, conveyor tube. All right. Same thing. Put your rotor down. Whoop. Take off your rotor head. This one, is, like I said, is so they can automatically reload. So as smooth. A uh, small rotor head. And then we're going to put a connector down. And the reason we're putting a connector down is, well, I'll show you. The conveyor junction, that's a big block. Right? We can all agree that's a big block. Now granted, the conveyor is only one smaller, but, eh. And just to show you what we're going for, actually. I did not build this turret, by the way, but this is kind of what we're going to make. So coming off the side, the reason we did this is we're going to use these little conveyor ports here at the bottom. So coming off the side here. Up, up, and number eight. Point it out. Another advanced rotor on that. Right? And then on the end of that, we're going to put another conveyor. So, and then in order to tuck this in a little bit, we'll come in here. Where is it? Uh, da, 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 da. Advanced rotor. Displacement. Tuck that way in. And then from here, right, this spins. Just for safety's sake, we'll come out one block. And this doesn't have, yeah, this don't have ports on the back. So we will need a small conveyor. So where can I put this? Uh, we don't need a light armor block. So I'll throw that on there. And then I will throw a camera on the front. And then you can make it look pretty. So something like this. I, once again, I did not build this. But just, you know, the options there. And then set everything up, up like you normally would. All your uh, assigned stuff. Azimuth. Oh. I didn't rename it. Add to the weapon, AI on. All right, and there you have it. And now this, it'll come up from your ship through the advanced rotor, through the connector, up the, the cargo ports, through the advanced rotor, through the connector, and into your guns. And everything automatically reloads. Just make it look pretty to your liking. Or you could just do it the other way. It'll be more compact. And you could throw 
cargo containers in here and just feed the ammo through that way. There is another way you can do it, which I'm not going to show you because now things start to get a little complicated. You can essentially just throw your large hinge down on top of whatever it is you're using, your rotor. And then you need to, I'll show it to you anyways. I can drop this straight on top of a rotor and it'll work just fine. But let me show you what we got going on here. This is a hinge block. All right. This is a hinge block. This is the large hinge block. This right here. You can have a small hinge and you need to you would need to pick this up with a ship or crane of some sort maneuver it to where this hinge block touches the sides then go into your con con uh, control panel and on hinge Just hit attach. This is a little more complicated. But ladies and gentlemen, that is how you make a rotor turret without using the scripts and using the new in-game control panel or control block. I have found it can be a little wonky at times, but that seems to be with there's a lot of mass on the turret. So as long as you don't go overboard, like large, large mass, it should be fine. There are some advantages of using the scripts to it. Um, those are like some of the scripts that automatically launch missiles and such. But a lot of this stuff is now built into the game other than guided weapons. So you really don't need the scripts. And by not running all these scripts, you're not bogging down your game. And so that's why it's really nice. This is Fireman Dan. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button. Hit subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so. And I'll see you guys on the next one.